I'm Peter with Cradle Point, part of Ericsson, and welcome to the Enlightened series. Gartner notes that by simply isolating the browser from the end user's device significantly improves an organization's security posture. So what is remote browser isolation, often referred to as RBI. All right, so let's see, we got our people over here. They're browsing. And then you got your web apps over here. Now, usually when you enter www.domain.com, your browser requests the information, well, resolves the name, of course, finds its destination, and then retrieves the content. And all of the content, so active scripts, JavaScript, HTML, etc., gets executed in the browser. Now, one of the challenges with that is that there are a lot of browser attacks out there and they are certainly increasing. Over here, I mean, this could be a malicious site. There could be an ad server tied to it that's delivering malicious ads, those drive-bys that then infect your browser. So what can you do? Remote browser isolation. So how does this work? So instead of, instead of having the website, the web application go directly back to the browser, instead what happens is that this browser is now in an isolated cloud con container. Now, how do we get this isolated cloud container? So on their outbound request, often there is a secure web gateway. And this secure web gateway either has allow or deny. But Cradle Point secure web gateway has a third option. And it's for risky sites or unknown sites. And what you want to do instead of allow or deny is isolate. So now, instead of this browser hitting the web servers, the web application, and all of the content directly, all of this is now being executed in this isolated cloud container. And effectively, I'm not getting, no, I'm not gonna get rid of you isolation, effectively creating an air gap between the browser and the web application itself. Now you have a lot of control within this isolated cloud container. So you can uh, do things like data loss prevention. And so if this person might be uploading, you know, adding to the site, the forum, whatever sensitive information, you can block that. There's content disarm and reconstruct so if there's any malicious content over here, hits the cloud, everything's contained in there, everything's executed in there. You can clean up that file and then pass it on to the end user. You have a lot of controls like copy paste or print, print screen. There's also an opportunity. So say this person clicks on a malicious email link. We have a number of customers that this is, all the executives have this for spear phishing. So they click an email and this email might be a phishing link. The secure web gateway is like, I don't know, I don't know. Let's isolate it to protect the user. And instead of being able to interact with the website normally and all that sort of stuff, what we can do is make that phishing site read only, and then 
you're just unable to enter your credentials at all, saving from a phishing attack and then a subsequent credential stuffing attack. So a lot of control within this isolated cloud container. Now, there are different modes, if you will, with remote browser isolation. And so there is like pixel mode, pixel mode where everything is contained in the cloud. And what, what's happening is you're just getting a, a stream, a pixel by pixel stream of what's happening, what's being executed in here. There is crystal mode, sometimes called DOM. And that's where active content, so JavaScript and other such stuff are executed in the cloud, in the cloud container, but things like uh, safe content, static content, HTML, those kinds of things are then rendered in the browser. And so kind of a nice balance between security and performance. And then there is stream mode, a M stream mode where everything is executed in this isolated cloud container, except for video content. So if you feel your videos are saved, video uh, will be able to just pass through to the browser. So it's a great way to protect all of your end users uh, from any malicious activity out there on the big, bad, dirty internet. Keeps everything clean over here, protects against phishing and other types of browser attacks. And if you'd like to learn more, you can certainly visit cradlepoint.com. I am Peter, always sign your work. And if you like content like this, please hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.